it's here. I have been waiting all day, as you can see from my face, my face. I got the new Stupid Love palette from the one, the only, the queen herself, Lady Gaga. I ordered it like the, the palette dropped at like 12 o'clock on the day that it released and I had it in my cart and we had paid for it by 12.01. So um, yeah, I was really excited about this. I love Lady Gaga. She is my absolute idol. I, I just, I couldn't love her anymore. So with this video, what I, con I conceptualized was not just giving you guys a review because everybody's gonna do a review of the palette. That's not what you're here to see. Yeah, will you get a review? Sure. But I'm also going to recreate the makeup that she did for one of her promo picks in uh, or on her ha uh, house, house, house laboratories website. So yeah, that was my goal was to get the palette do my best to recreate the look. It turned out pretty cool. And if you guys want to see it, then uh, definitely stay tuned. Okay, so I did want to do my unboxing on screen. I'm not gonna lie. I was so excited when I received it. I've literally, it was supposed to arrive yesterday. I've been like waiting for it, like minute by minute for it to show up. So I went ahead and opened it up just to make sure everything was uh, all good in, in the hood as, as I like to say. Um, but the first thing that I noticed is on the back of, her packaging, it says, I want you to love yourself, love Lady Gaga. I love that. I love Lady Gaga. I kind of brushed on it when we did our first like Haas Laboratories review, but like she's she's my hero and idol in every way. I love her. If there was one celebrity I could be best friends with, it would be her. She's just everything. She's magical and I, I stand her in every way and I, I love her. So I'm very excited for this. I'd be excited just because I like the palette a lot anyway but uh, because it's her especially. Uh, so we also got this really awesome little card uh, that basically just kind of gives a backstory. It says, you know, uh, she says, when I was young, I never felt beautiful and using makeup kind of helped her find uh, an, an inner peace and a, a more security with herself until she got to a place where she did love herself. And that is very similar to how I got into makeup. So um, once again, it just makes me love her more because I understand that story completely. I think there are probably a lot of girls out there that do understand it. Um, I'm probably now in my life to a place where I'm, I'm finally comfortable being without makeup, but I love makeup so much and I love exploring it and, um, and digging into it that uh, that's why I wear it. I don't really wear it anymore for, um, for like confidence. It definitely makes me feel better when I have it on, but um, but I also don't mind my face without it. So that's, I, I completely understand what she's saying with that. I think it's a great message for a makeup company and I I love her. So what I could say that a thousand times in this video and I probably will. So you're gonna have to just deal with it. But uh, the packaging itself, so this is the little box, very reflective. It does say uh, Stupid Love, which of course is one of her newer songs. It did get a little bit nicked right here. You can see it on the outside of the box. And when you open up the palette, you can see it in there too. But the shades look okay. And I'm, I'm assuming that was the mailing issue, was a mailing issue. So what are you gonna do besides roll with the punches? Uh, okay, so then inside, You've got the Stupid Love uh, label out here, but this is black instead of pink. And when you open it up, this is my favorite thing ever. I kind of want to hang it on my wall. Uh, it is this really awesome picture of her. It is see-through. It is basically the screen protector that you get with all palettes, but it's super thick. Like it's not the normal just sheet of plastic. It's like a really nice laminated plastic. So I, uh, I'm mad into that. Also, no mirror, I don't think. Is that a mirror? Maybe it is. No, it is a mirror. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm dumb, sorry. The mirror almost looks, because of the packaging, it almost looks like it's just really reflective, the cardboard of the, the, the thing, but I'm rambling at this point. It, there's a mirror. Yeah, sorry, I can't see. And then you've got these just amazing colors. Like I I am not a blue person. Um, I wore blue today to, uh, to, to highlight the palette, but I'm really not the type of person who gravitates towards blues. Yeah, there's just so many great, cause you've got a lot of really great browns and pinks and oranges, and then you've got the blues, and then you have so many glitter pigments, and I, I just think that there's a ton to work with. Plus, you've got awesome names for these. I mean, you've got 911 as the white name. Um, Enigma is like her baby blue one, which of course, you know, that was yeah, Enigma's her show in, in Vegas, so. Uh, you've got Stupid Love is one of the darker brown ones. Rain On Me, which is the song she just released with Ariana. So there's like a lot of really great stuff. You've got Enemy, which is the orange shade, which 
I won't comment on, but I love it. Yes, lots of good stuff. Now I could do just a normal review where I come up with a fun makeup and I say, hey, I really like the formula, but why would I do that when I could make my life a little bit more uh, stressed out and challenging and harder? So what I've decided to do is I found one of my favorite looks that she did for the promotion of this particular palette. There were a couple ones I was going back and forth between, but this is the one that I ultimately decided with, but it's simple, but not simple at the same time. Now I will very much admit that this is gonna be the Walmart version of this look. <laughs> I'm not gonna be Lady Gaga by the end of it as much as I would love to be. But I want to kind of see if I can recreate what she did in that particular image. And so I went through, I took a picture, I literally, I planned this one out, man. I took a picture of the palette, I took the look and I went through and I thought, okay, these are the shades that she used. So I know for a fact that Sign, the dark blue is one of the main ones that she used in here, along with Peace, which is the teal shade. And then I'm thinking that she used Enemy kind of on the outer, like up here, not quite the outer corner, but like up here. And then she used Plastic Doll as a blending shade. Then I'm thinking we've got 911 kind of on the inner corner. And there's a glitter shade that's on the bottom. And the only one that I think it's either between Light Up or Free Woman, but there's just a touch of silver to it. So I think it's Free Woman. So those are the shades that I'm gonna go in there and try and use the look. I will say it is a variation of this, this look. This is the original one that I was going to do. Uh, but then I saw a different picture and she had a liner in there too. And you know, I've been experimenting more with liner even though I hate it. So like, let's really stress me out with this one. So uh, so let's, let's start. I've talked enough, let's go ahead and see if I can make myself into the um, cheap knockoff version of Lady Gaga. Let's do it. I'm so scared. Like my heart's be, you'd think I was like taking like the SAT or something. Like my whole future relies on this, but it's, it, I, what's the worst that happens? The YouTube sees me and they're like, well, what did you do there? Uh, I tried, not well, but I tried. Okay, so uh, we're going in with Enemy first, which is again, that orange shade. And I'm going to do that up here because it's kind of where she, She's got that little bit of orange, just like a slight touch of it up here. And it's doing really nicely. It was a little patchy at first, but it's working in really well. There is a lot of fallout on the pan, but once again, I like these brushes. These are the mod brushes I got my BoxyCharm this month. I like these brushes a lot, but I, I feel like they do produce a little bit. Their bristles are like a little tough. So I think on palettes that may not have a ton of fallout normally, they produce a little bit of extra fallout. So that might be part of it too. It may not be. That may just be my reasoning, but that's kind of what I'm thinking from having used it. Nikki did something really cool with one of our last videos where he did like the fallout cam or whatever, like the eyeshadow cam. And he like showed the fallout in slow motion. And I was like, I had no idea it was that bad. So like maybe he can do something like that too and, and show you how good and or bad the fallout is, is going on right now. All right, I think that's more than an ample amount of that orange shade. Okay, so the camera died on us, but I did say that I, I looked at the picture closer and then I realized that she actually had brought the orange shade all the way up to her brow line. So I went in and I did, I uh, filled in that gap to make it a little bit more what she actually did in the picture. So now I think we're good. We're on we're on track to, to get it going. I think the easiest thing for me to do is probably going to be to do all of this upper area and then go in if I need to clean it up with concealer and then do the exaggerated blue part and the eyeliner on top of that. I think it's going to be easier to do that than to like try and keep it all neat, so. We're gonna go in now with Plastic Doll and I am gonna use the same brush that I just used for Enemy because I think uh, for blending, I, I a lot of times like to use the same brush just because I feel like it gives you like a little bit of a touch of that color throughout. So we're gonna do that. And it looks like it goes all the way to about here and then that's where she starts the teal and the teal kind of comes down to it like a point along her nose line. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, I re, oh, I like, oh, I like Plastic Doll a lot. It's kind of looking like what she, she's got going on. I'm, I'm kind of excited. Oh, I really like Plastic Doll though. That's a really pretty blending shade. There is a lot of fallout though. I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of fallout on the, the pan. It's the same brush though. If my theory is, is correct, then it may be that, but there it, I just want to point that out. It did something that I don't like. So, so for you guys who can't see it, there's, there's some fallout. Doesn't mean I don't think it's not worth it because I think it's always worth it to support Lady Gaga because um, I shamelessly support her no matter what, so. But that being said, you guys also know that I'm always going to be honest with you in my review. So if I hated this palette right now, I'd be like, I'm disappointed, but I am not disappointed. I'm kind of excited because it's starting to look like, it's, it's starting to look like what I was hoping it would. All right, I think it's time for the teal shade. I think that's where I'm at in, my, in, in life, in this journey with you guys here today. 
as you're watching me with bated breath to see if I can do this, pull this off. My greatest feat. This is my final heist before I die. I'm going in with peace now. I am using a very pointed, it's a, definitely a liner brush. And I think that's gonna be the easiest thing to kind of keep it the precision that she's got it. And it's super angled, so. Whoa, that's pigmented. Holy hell. Oh, we look at that fallout though. <laughs> I went a little heavy handed right in here. So it's looking a little chunky, but it's, you know, live and learn. I think the best thing to do is gonna take a little bit of this and blend it in. When in doubt, blend. Oh no, that's so pink. What have I done? <laughs> oh my God, it's ruined, it's over. I'm sorry, Lady Gaga. I'm so sorry, I've let you down. I'm gonna blend it in and I think that's about right for this, this side. And she does bring the pink all the way down here. All right, now I gotta make it match on the other side. I'm so nervous. Everything I do is making me, it's giving me so much anxiety. Is it looking even camera? <laughs> Probably not. There's like something wonky going on with this one, but every time I try and fix it, it just like makes it go away. Like the whole thing just like disappears. All right, let's blend. Let's always blend. Blend, 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 blend. I think we're about ready to get into like the concealer and then the like the scary part which is like the blue, which I'm very terrified of. All right, I concealed. I concealed it so I have a clean slate to do the blue and then I'll go in and I'll fill the pink around it. I got a little, I got a little hot up here. A little hot, a little hot. I'm gonna use the same brush to give myself a general outline because it's a wing. It's like a wing that she's got going on. It like come, the blue comes like up and then it like pretty much Looks like it goes like almost on her whole lid. And then there's a little bit of liner and then the blue comes down around here and then she's got her corner. So I'm gonna go in with my little, same little thing that I used to do the, this, this little, this, this man's up here. We're gonna do that. And then if I need, I'm gonna get a bigger brush to fill in the, the full color of it. But to give myself the outline, I think the easiest thing to use is this little eyeliner brush. So let's do it. It is pigmented. Can you see that? All right, so that man, he's, he's pigmented. Whew. Whew. Like just, just to give some context, there's some intense rain going on right now and it's really adding to the whole dramatic mood that I've got going on with this. All right, I'm gonna drag it on the underside of my eyelid. Get the, get the little bit of under color in good too. I got the wing on this side done. I'm now gonna go in with a bigger brush and do the lid. I think that's gonna make my life less stressed. So let's do it that way. And I'm just gonna get like a nice little like tapered fluffy brush. Ah, uh, yes, 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 that was good. I think doing the whole like shape of it in with that little brush would have given me uh, a, a, probably a panic attack. If I sound like I'm being dramatic, it's because there's just so much at stake right now. I'm being, I'm kidding. There's like literally nothing at stake, but I just want it to look nice, so. Wow, but look at how, look at how vibrant blue that is. Like I almost could get by with it. No, I dropped the blue into the white. <sighs> oh, there's a big blue smudge in there now. It's, it's fine, we're fine. There is some fallout though. It just fell on my cheek and it did kind of like mess up the color. It's fine. We're muscling through. Anyway, what I was saying before I threw the brush on the ground and then ruined the white color and then fallout was on my face and I got distracted by 8,000 other things. I probably could get by if I really wanted to without doing the eyeliner part of it because it's not necessary in my opinion, but um, I'm not doing this for like uh, my aesthetic. I'm doing this to match her aesthetic. So I'm gonna commit to it. I'm gonna do it in full. Okay. I think it is now time to take the blending brush and kind of go in and fill in that where the white, the gap is where the I blended the pink in out with my concealer. How's it looking? Is it looking kind of like it? Once again, I'm the Walmart version. I'm not trying to be her. I could never, but like, it doesn't look bad. It could be worse, I'm just saying. Because I'm not ready to do this side yet, I need another minute mentally. I'm gonna go ahead and do the white on my inner corner and do the, finish it all off and basically get it ready for liner. And then um, we'll go to the other side. I actually think I'm gonna take just a touch of the white and kind of put it up here in between the teal and the pink to highlight the brow bone, because I think that's pretty. All right, there it is. No, con no uh, eyeliner yet, but that's basically what we're working with. It's better than I thought it was gonna turn out if I'm being 100% honest. With my skill level, I thought it was not gonna be this good, but it's it's pretty it's pretty close. Let's go on to the other side. All right, let's make this side match. I'm so nervous. I'm almost done and I'm still so freaking nervous. All right, so pretty okay. Like I'm actually really impressed with how on par with the picture it's actually turning out. Um, is it a bold eye statement? Obviously yes, because the picture was a bold eye statement. So that's what we were aiming for. It doesn't, I mean, it's not perfect. I am not a professional makeup artist and uh, 
there are a lot of talented people I'm sure that were working on her that day. But uh, um, here, here we are. I'm going into eyeliner now. And then once you get the eyeliner on and we get the, uh, the mascara on, we're gonna see if I can recreate her beautiful picture that she uh, she did on Haas Laboratories uh, website for the drop of this palette. And we're gonna see how I did. And hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this concept. I really was like very excited when I first came up with it. I was like, yes, let's let's recreate her look. Let's do that. Uh, because you know what? Just reviewing it isn't enough. We're gonna go a step above here at Dark Angel Beauty. And that's what we did today. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really like the palette. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. Um, I Obviously you guys can tell I love Lady Gaga. That aside, I'm never going to lie to you about how I feel a makeup product is in terms of worthwhile or not worthwhile. I think it's a great palette. I think it's it was $48. Uh, we did have a coupon for free shipping. So it wound up being like $50 after tax or 52 after tax, something like that. And um, it got here really quickly. It, we ordered it as like, it dropped and as soon as it dropped, we we, Put in the order for it so i I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it i will definitely use it again that's it's a lot of times and i'll be honest a lot of times i buy palettes and then i use them once and they get forgotten about i don't think this is going to be the case for this one but it's a lot of rambling so i can avoid doing eyeliner so let's jump into this i think i went a little further than what she actually has on her eye but you know what i can't go back now so the nice thing is the blue is so dark, you really can't even see the eyeliner. So if it looks absolutely terrible, like I can't even really tell that it's on there, but. All right, so the, because this is a liquid liner, I'm gonna give it a minute to rest. Um, if you guys, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. If you like makeup, then you probably understand that it takes like a lot out of it to go across like that heavy of uh, makeup and foundation and concealer and everything else, the eyeshadow primer and everything else that's currently on my eyelid, so. Um, I'm gonna go in now with mascara and I'm going to just do mascara on this little, this little area. I honestly, I honestly considered since I really hate myself putting on false lashes for this look too. Um, but I decided that that was just too much for me in one eye look. Trying to recreate something, trying to do eyeliner, and then on top of that, trying to do uh, fake lashes. Yeah, no, I would have absolutely ended up in some sort of an asylum. So I was like, let's not uh, push myself to Harley Quinn status at this moment. Uh, let's, let's, let's rein it in. Understand your limitations. This eye is done. This eye is, this is, this is, does it look like it? So now just this eye. This eye always gives me more trouble. Sometimes this eye gives me trouble, but not really. This eye gives me trouble. This eyebrow gives me trouble. I don't make the rules, I just live them. They're awful, I hate them. Whoever made the rules, you, you hurt me with that, why, why? So uh, I expect this will be a little bit more painful than this one, which seemed to go pretty smoothly, but maybe not, maybe I'll get lucky today. I did just remember that I forgot to do my little brow highlight, so I'm gonna do that really quick. But I think that actually might be okay. Let me let it settle for a minute and then I can decide if I hate it or if it works. I mean, it's definitely, this eye, like for certain, it's not as good as this eye. This eye turned out way better. This eye is a little bit more like the drunk cousin at the wedding, but it's it could be worse. I'm doing a Lady Gaga's like blue steel look that she did in that picture. Truthfully, I think it turned out pretty good. Cause like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. So I was just giving it my best shot, my my full try, and I think it turned out pretty good. I I, I like the palette. I that's really the reason you guys hopefully watched the video. If you did, um, that's my conclusion. I like the palette. I think it is worthwhile. I love her. I love everything that she stands for. I love that proceeds from all of her sales go to help. Uh, the LGBT community. I just, I really just love who she is. I love everything she does and I will continue to support her. But overall, the quality of the makeup, it is absolutely important to comment on that. And I think it's, I think it's a great palette. I mean, you can see the colors are super pigmented. Me as somebody who just loves makeup and had never been trained, I was able to recreate the look semi easily. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then do me a favor. I don't think it will ever happen, but if by some miracle, you guys like and share this video and Lady Gaga sees it and then I would someday get to meet Lady Gaga I would never ask for anything again. I would die of happiness So the more you guys pour, like put it out there support me and this video in particular uh, the, the better my chances are so I am slightly begging there But other than that if you guys like the video definitely give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet Please consider doing so we would love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family and other than that I hope you guys are just all staying safe and you stay girly with the dark twist